Hey everyone, Itay Manero here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint an architectural subject with oils in Procreate. So let's jump right into it. In order to achieve this, I'm going to be using my thick paint brush set for Procreate. You can find it along with a free mini version for you to try out on my Gumroad page through the link in the description below. I'm also going to be using this interesting photo reference by Levi Mer Clancy. I will leave the link in the description as well, in case you want to follow along. As always, before I start with my oil painting, I'm going to import a few textures from the ones that are included with this set. First I will add an oil color base. I choose the brown one, since most of the reference picture is dominated by earthy colors. I then create a couple of layers that I will leave empty for now, and that I will use later to work on my painting. Next I'll import an oil texture sheet, particularly the number 6. This layer needs to be set as overlay mode, and since it is very strong, I'm going to lower the opacity quite a bit. Finally I will add a canvas texture, specifically the number 3. I set this layer to multiply, and adjust the curves until I get a more subtle texture, before I continue, remember that you can see what brush I'm currently using at all times by looking at this rectangle right here. I've decided that for this painting, I'm going to use a perspective guide to help me set my sketch properly. Once I've done that, I can start sketching using the super wet flat brush, which is my favorite from this set for this endeavor. It really gives you the feel of sketching with a very thin and wet brush. While I'm working on this quick sketch, I don't focus on any details. I just want to get the general placement of the elements and establish the composition. I also try to add any useful information I can observe in the photo reference, like the placement for the main areas of light and shadows. I actually chose this specific picture as reference because I found that strong spot of light in the stairs very interesting, so I want to put that information down in my painting as soon as possible. With the sketch finished, I'm going to use the experimental thick brush number 2 included with this set to cover the whole painting with a basic color for each area. This brush is great because it will give me a very textured base to work with, and some of it will still show through in the final painting. Now with the smooth squared brush, I'm starting to define more specifically the shapes and colors in located areas. My approach here is going from a very general treatment of the colors and brush strokes to a medium level of detailing, which is what I'm doing right now, and the final stage would be to detail further just very specific parts where I want the viewer to focus their eyes on. Right now as you can see, nothing is very detailed. I'm just trying to build a general perception of the whole image, with large to medium brush strokes and well chosen colors. Even in areas that are more detailed, like the pavement here in the foreground, are represented with very loose strokes. You can notice that I'm giving the same exact treatment to this wall here with all the bricks. Most bricks are represented just with a single quick brush stroke, and others are clearly blending with their surroundings. Some bricks are just an undefined spot of color. It's important to not think that you need to paint exactly each little brick, otherwise you would lose the general feel of the image. It is better to give the viewer just a hint of what is there, without having to paint everything precisely. I'm trying to paint this subject as an essential abstraction of the reference picture, and not just as a mere copy. At this point I've switched to the messy canvas roll brush, because I want to get some extra texture in some parts of my painting. It is actually a good idea to switch brushes from time to time when painting with this oil brush set, because it will help you achieve a more realistic and less repetitive digital oil painting style. Then 
the direction on strokes brush can help me define some of those harder details in the ground, where the shadows in the little creases in the ground are more obvious. Using the super wet flat brush, I can work on small details like these sort of antennas in the background and the shadows they're projecting over the wall. I want to make sure that the brighter spots in the scene are the little piece of sky and the little spots where the light is hitting in the stairs. Here I am detailing the big door in the right in a very loose way. I am basically hinting at its presence, but with very undefined and messy spots of color full of texture. Using the brush strokes texture 2 brush, I can give my painting a few very realistic bristle marks here and there. And going back to the super wet flat brush, I can define a little further, but still in a loose way, the floor in the foreground. After a few more detailing, this is the final result. I really hope you liked this video. If you use my brushes and post your art on social media, feel free to use the hashtag ManeroBrushes so that I can see what you create. I will be extremely happy to share your creations with my audience. Don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out my Gumroad page, where you will find the thick paint brush set for Procreate, and many other sets that I have available, I'm sure something will suit your artistic needs. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching, see you next time.